Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is 4.25 a.m. on Wednesday the 25th of September. Uh, I'm in, well, I'm at Heathrow, kind of. I'm at a hotel near Heathrow Terminal 5, which feels like my second home at the minute. Um, and I'm off somewhere today again, obviously, which I'll, you know, I'll take you on that journey. Um, I've got to get a bus fairly soon to the terminal and then I'm hoping I can do something quite cool that I've not done well, I've done once before you, you may have seen on this vlog a little while ago um, but I'll, I'll explain when I get there um, anyway uh, yeah and single bag packing again this time this isn't sponsored by the way but thanks to Bellroy these guys here this bag which i've just realized i've completely forgotten the name of uh, we'll put a link in the description just so you can check it out um i don't even think we get affiliate you know clicks and and commission from it to be honest but um they have very kindly sent me this bag um because i needed a better bag for traveling just with one bag and basically it's built for that so you put all your clothes in here there's a compartment for your laptop here there's a separate compartment here for your dirty clothes there's other pockets here one round there secret pockets in here for your you know, for all your documents and your passport and that sort of stuff and it's incredibly comfy to carry it's a very very comfy backpack so that is my um, my new steed uh, if you like for, for these sort of trips um, but yeah I need to now leave this hotel room um, I've got a hopefully I will hopefully co collect what I'm talking about sorry it's so early I'll hopefully get this bus I'm always a little bit unsure about getting buses to places because they never seem to be particularly reliable but um, it got me here last night so surely it can get me to the to the airport and if you're wondering how big this Bellroy bag looks on my back it's not bad I mean, it's quite chunky to be fair but it is kind of carrying all of my worldly belongings for this trip so I'm pretty pretty pleased with that anyway let's go downstairs What is it about airport hotels? They always feel a bit different. A bit spooky at this time of night, like no one's around. There are people around, it's not that it's not that spooky at all actually. What am I talking about? Hey, we've made it to Terminal 5. I do feel like all I do is take you through airports at the moment. <laughs> I hope this vlog is more interesting than that. Um, time check, it's 5.15 a.m. And we're doing okay time-wise, to be honest, because flight doesn't leave until 7.30. So, plenty of time. Let's get through security. Deja vu again. It feels like about a week since I was like, because it was a week since I was last walking through here and talking to you. So anyway, through uh, security and now I need to find a lounge because I have a new credit card for the business which gives lounge access and I think, I think I've found it. Let's go and give it a go. That was a very nice experience. I didn't film too much in there just because you don't want to be like the noob who's just got into the lounge for the first time filming himself and checking the place out, but it was nice. I think the biggest thing about those lounges, why, did, why does the tannoy always go off when you start filming? The biggest thing about those lounges is a guaranteed seat, unlimited coffee, and really nice food. If you're wondering, it's the Club Aspire Lounge in Terminal 5 at Heathrow. Highly recommended. Okay, quick time check. It is 
what is it, 6.45 and we have a gate, we have a gate number. Exciting. I will explain where I'm going and who I'm going with or who is taking me there in a bit. Although it's not Huawei this time. It feels like it's been Huawei quite a lot in these vlogs. It's not, it's a completely different company and it's one that I haven't had any trips with before. Um, so yeah, I'll take your guesses now in the comments. Oh, and if you're wondering which credit card it is that got me access to that lounge, it's the Amex American Express, obviously, Business Platinum, I think. Um, it's got quite a big annual fee. It's about 650 quid a year or something, but it's um, you get lots more apart from that. But we're trying it for a year just to see if that 650 quid pays itself back in terms of points and stuff. And I'll be honest, just that lounge access is, is rather nice. desk open. Honestly, that's one of the longest waits I've ever had for getting through security. Anyway, I'm here in Berlin again. Okay, made it to the hotel a um, bit early, so time check it is basically 12, 12 noon and I can't check in until 3 o'clock. Awesome. Um, also, if you've been following these vlogs on these trips, you'll know that normally they're organised by having a WhatsApp group. So everyone who's on the trip, all the press people and YouTubers like me, are put into a WhatsApp group so we know what's going on. That hasn't happened this time, which in one way is quite nice because it means you just feel a little bit freer which is good um and, it, and it, yeah it's just quite nice to get to get to places by yourself uh, the problem is i'm not entirely sure where the first event is um the details i've got aren't that clear so um I'm, thankfully I, I know someone else who's here I've messaged him to find out what's going on. But at the moment, I've got a bit of time actually as well. It's like I say, 12 o'clock. That event doesn't start until 2.30. Um, so I have got a bit of time. Again, this is unusual on a press trip, but nice. Okay, so I think we've figured out what's going on. I have contacts now. I have people that are talking to me and telling me where I need to be. Um, it's all sorted basically. It's just a bit of a, a different way of doing these events. And uh, still learning with a lot of this stuff. Everyone is different. Every single one of these trips is different, which makes them interesting, obviously. But yeah, I've got quite a bit of time now. A couple of hours really before anything happens. So get some work done, have something to eat, have a coffee, and then head to this event. So that's the presentation done, which was just over there somewhere. I didn't film any of it because, again, it's embargoed, although by the time you see this, the embargo's lifted, so it wouldn't actually have mattered. But it's just a basically a, pro it's a product presentation, like a, a pre-briefing before the launch event tomorrow. So there's a bigger launch event tomorrow. This is like a, like a pre-launch event. So they've filled this room with press, people like myself, and a few devices here and there, although I've got the device, so I don't need to do much in here really. Um, in terms of what's happening next, 
there's at about five o'clock there's a masterclass which is all based around this new phone which I, don't know if I, I don't even know if I've mentioned it it's the Xiaomi 14T have I even mentioned I'm here with, with Xiaomi that's hard to say with Xiaomi I don't think I have Xiaomi have brought me here basically um, and it's all about the 14T <coughs> excuse me the 14T which I can show you because by the time you watch this the embargo has lifted that is the 14T but yeah anyway going back to what I was saying um, about 5 o'clock and it is 20 to 4 now we're having a master class followed by a night photography thing apparently um, should be interesting I'm really tired so it's going to be very interesting because of that but uh, yeah for now I suppose it's just a case of wandering around here for a bit um, okay good news I have free time Quarter to four. I don't know if you could hear anything in that last piece of footage. It was a very noisy room there. But um, anyway, we've got a bit of time now until this photo masterclass thing. So I can check into my hotel room and give you the hotel room tour because we all love that bit, don't we? Okay, in, oh, <laughs> in we go. Problem with having a, a single back, single back, single bag strategy is that it is quite big and you end up banging into things all the time. Anyway, we're here, we're in the hotel room. Let's get some lights going. Um, we do need to put the card in. There we go. Let's take the bag off for a second. Oh, what's that noise? Interesting noise. Hope it doesn't make that all night, that would be nice. What is that noise? Is that the air conditioning? Anyway, let's do the tour. So again, I do have to mention, I think I have to mention this. I always do it just in case. Um, I haven't paid for this room, it's all paid for by Xiaomi. The entire trip is paid for by them, apart from incidental coffees and things I decided by myself, obviously. Um, but let's do the tour. So let's swing you around. Uh, let's start with the bathroom. Come on. Well, very, very tiny, very tiny bathroom, um, but very nice bathroom. Nice, nicely appointed. Some, <laughs> the door just shut behind me. I hope I'm not stuck in here. Um, nice wooden elements. Yeah, very nice. Good stuff. Obviously there's a hairdryer. Hi. Okay, that's the bathroom. Um, there appears to be storage area. Who brings? that much stuff to a hotel I always think this that, that much stuff to a hotel room that you have to have all these cupboards and you know kind of storage spaces for your for your clothes I don't um okay into the main area so it's a twin room twin beds that's fine I've got no problem with that um we don't appear to have a chaise lounge anywhere we do have a little bench to put your your suitcase on a small working area here uh, let's give the bed a test Ooh, not particularly good but uh, never mind um i like this this is all very nice nice tv area a little cut out for the remote control lovely uh, what's this Ooh, okay. A nice uh, HDMI port there because it's obviously 1993. Right, what is this? Pull me. Okay. Okay, here is the view, which um, has seen better days, let's be honest. There's some nice greenery, and there's something over there which appears to be some kind of tent. Not sure what that is, but uh, okay. Someone having a cigarette break down there. Um, 
Okay. And uh, here is... Oh, there is a wardrobe. There's a very tiny, very, very thin wardrobe. Although, going back to what I was saying a moment ago, that makes sense to me. That I'm, I'm, I'm not going to fill that, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, that's more realistic. There's lots of little... Um, kind of uh, indications of where to put your suitcase. I, I noticed another one of those on the way in as well. Um, handy, I suppose. This is, I guess, their version of a chaise lounge, but yeah. Okay, um, okay. It's a nice hotel. It's uh, It does the job. I have no idea how much it costs. Uh, I don't really know where we are either. <laughs> um, we're, we're somewhere in Berlin, obviously. Have I even said we're in Berlin? I think I have. Um, Anyway, I've just noticed actually the ceiling, can I show you this? The ceiling um, is, I think, just exposed plaster from the looks of it. Um, yeah, interesting. Okay. Um, oh, it's, a, is it, it's not a balcony. It is, oh no, it's a good job that didn't open. Um, I won't do that again. Uh, okay, right. So, time check. It is 10 to 4. And uh, like I say, I've got some time now, so I will, I always get to this stage of the vlog and just think, should I just call it quits and stop now? Uh, because you're probably getting very bored. Um, that said, the, the recent video that we published that was um, titled My Worst Video Ever, I think, thanks Niall, brilliant video title. Um, a few of you unbelievably said you, that you really enjoyed it. I don't know why, but... Thank you. Um, with that in mind, I think this evening might be a bit more interesting with this night photography thing. I've got no idea what it's about. Um, most of the people who are on this trip with me aren't English. They don't. Sp it's like a bunch of Spanish people and Italians, which is really cool. But um, we can't really converse with each other either. <laughs> either. So um, I think there are t two or three other uh, UK journalists. I think. There's two groups. There's like there's, there's us and then there's another group that I met a moment ago. Some other some guys that I know really well, um, including tech expert Chris Barraclough. If you know if you haven't if you've never you probably have if you if you haven't checked out tech expert's channel, go and check it out. He's in like a different group for this t this thing. Very confusing. It's been a very confusing day actually, but in in a in, a, in an interesting way. Um, anyway, I, I'm going to get some work done. Freshen up and then go and do this masterclass photo tour thing. And you're going to come with me. I genuinely have no idea what's about to happen. <laughs> okay, so you, you probably won't see me like this ever again. Hopefully, uh, but this is now the um, the photo tour. So the idea is that we, we're going to walk around Berlin with this phone, doing night photography. The only problem, as you can see, is that it's absolutely teeming down. Really, really raining. Um, I, they've given us these rather fetching, uh, whatever you call them, ponchos, and um, yeah. To be fair though, some of the shots I've got are amazing. Check me out. But they are, I'm talking more about the camera than my photographic um, capabilities. They are very, very good. Um, but yeah, the weather and the look. I told you, you'd see everything on these vlogs. Back at the hotel. Time check. In fact, I'll do the time check in a second because I've just got loads of stuff from the vending machine. 
which was a very German vending machine in that it worked incredibly well. Um, yeah, in my mind, German efficiency is unmatched. And it seems it extends to vending machines as well, because the way it delivered, I wish I'd captured it, but I didn't, and I don't want to buy more vending machine stuff just to show you. I'm sure you won't take offence to that. Um, but the way that it delivered this menagerie of um, stuff was very impressive. Let me get into the room. Card in there. There we go. Then I can do the time check, can't I? Time, time check is 20 past 10. And that is the evening done. The evening's festivities over. Um, again, I can't remember how much of that I filmed, only little bits of it, obviously. Uh, but the idea was that we went to this evening where um, it was all about the photography capabilities of this phone. So they had Leica there. Leica is in partnership with Xiaomi for this phone. Um, loads of uh, photographers on stage talk and showing some incredible photos they'd taken with that phone. Amazing stuff. Um, and so there was that, then a bit of food, and then the idea was to do a night walk around Berlin. But the heavens, as you saw, opened and um even those ponchos couldn't really save it so oh what's happened here um so uh, we stayed in that area that you saw for about 15 minutes and then went went back into the venue because it was just a washout which was a real shame i was looking forward to doing a a bit of night photography around berlin but there you go weather halted play uh, so yeah, that was today. That was today. Um, tomorrow is a launch event, the big launch event for the phones and other stuff, which I will take you to. Obviously, um, not much more to say really, apart from I want to go home as well because I'm missing my family again. I say this a lot on these vlogs, I know, but it has been a crazy time. Let's put you on here. A crazy time for travel, which you'll have noticed if you've been watching these vlogs. Um, so I just need to be at home for a bit. Um, I have been at home, obviously, but it's just, it feels like I've been away a lot. And I have a two year old son and I miss him. I miss my girlfriend obviously as well, but I miss Harrison terribly because I can't explain to him why I'm here. I've talked about this before, but um, parents who are watching this will know exactly what I'm talking about. If you do a lot of travel for work or if you've, if you've done a lot of travel in the past, when your kids were younger, you'll know what it's like. It's not nice, uh, but, but it is nice because it's an amazing opportunity. I love these opportunities, but I've had a lot of it recently. And, um, and, and there's a lot going on with the business. Stuff I never talk about in these vlogs. All the stuff that we're doing on the website, all the stuff we're doing for videos that are coming up. Um, the team are working so hard doing things, which uh, it's still mind-blowing to me that this stuff's happening without me being involved, but it is. And... There's all, there's all that going on and yeah anyway i'm waffling on now and we've got the face tracking thing going on again haven't we um <laughs> anyway i've got some snacks let me show you the snacks that i've got uh not very exciting water because you know hydration is important um less important is eating mr tom's which is a kind of peanut caramel thing um peanut m m's and paprika Paprika Pringles. That's a difficult two word combination to say. Um, not the healthiest of bedtime snacks, but that's the way it is sometimes. Anyway, guys, take care. If you've got this far, I love you ridiculously. And um, I'll return in the next vlog where I'll be doing something else in Berlin. Um, but anyway, yeah, take care, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.